Okay, this next part of the song is where the whole band kicks in, and uh, this also features as the main chorus of the song, except in the first part of the song, um, there's no lyrics. So uh, let me just play this guitar part for you, and then uh, we'll break it down. Okay, the first chord we're going to be looking at is going to be barring uh, across the third fret on the low E and the A string. And we're just going to play a uh, down up, down up. Um, so let's see how that sounds. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to introduce um, the fifth fret on the G and the sixth fret on the B uh, along with the first chord that we played. And then we're going to play down up, down up again. Then we're going to hold the same shape but just move our little finger down to the 5th fret on the B and play uh, down up, down up again. Then uh, move back to the second position that we looked at, so we've got 5 on the G, 6 on the B and then play down up, down up again. So uh, at slow tempo it should sound like this. Okay, now we're going to move up and bar the 5th fret um, on the low E and the A string and we're going to play down up, down up. Then we're going to play a single note line uh, which is going to be uh, the 7th fret on the G, 5th fret on the G and the 4th fret on the G and each of these notes are going to be played four times so we're going to have down up, down up on each. Okay, so with the chord it should sound like this. Okay, now we go back to uh, where we started the chorus and play exactly the same thing again. Then we're moving back up to the 5th fret, and uh, play down, up, down, up. Then the single note line changes from um, 7, 5, 4 to 7, nine, four, like that. So we're going to have... So with the chord it should sound like this. Okay, so the whole chorus section slow, just so you can see how it's been pieced together, should sound like this. Okay, now we're going to look at playing the first verse. Um, it's going to start on the 12th fret, and as you're um, picking it alternately, um, you're going to slowly bend it up, um, so it's going to kind of change in pitch. So uh, let me just play it for you, just so you can see how it sounds. <laughs> okay, so as you start on the 12th fret on the A, um, and you're picking it, you're just slowly bending it up. Okay, the first section features um, two parts, uh, tempo-wise. Um, the drums in the first part are kind of uh, fairly intermittent, so they're, they're kind of only playing in certain bits. And then uh, when everything stops and comes in again, it's a fairly solid uh, rhythm section. So the first part is going to go back to the clean intro that we looked at before, um, except it's going to be kind of half the length, so this is what it's going to look like. <laughs> Okay, now after that gap, um, we start again, except we're going to play the whole thing without in the middle, so it's just going to look like this. So you really 
really just taking that first pattern that we broke down and um, apart from playing the on the first time round, the rest of the pattern remains the same. So we're just going to take uh, the same thing that we did on the 8th fret on the A, 10th fret on the D and then move it up to the 10th fret on the A, 12th fret on the D and keep the pattern the same. Okay, the other guitar part that comes in is uh, a slightly overdriven part and um, after the, uh, the main gap um, that we saw in the first uh, clean part, um, there's two harmonics played by a distorted guitar and then it comes in and plays the... Uh bit over the top of that, so uh, let me get an overdrive sound and we'll see how that sounds. Okay, so this bit's going to start with uh, two natural harmonics on the 5th fret across the B and the G string, so we're just going to play uh, any finger you want for that really, first three normally. It's entirely up to you. Okay, now the next part is uh, basically an overdriven version of the second guitar part that we looked at in the intro. So uh, again, we've got the 10th fret on the D, 9th fret on the G, and then we're just going to palm mute down strokes and uh, for the first chord position we're going to play um, 16. So. Then second position we've got 12 on the D, 10 on the G and we're going to play 8. Then move back to our original position and play 4. Then move that down to 10th fret on the A, 9th fret on the D and play 4 there as well. Then we're going to repeat the whole thing again, so... Okay, all those parts with the clean and the overdriven parts make up um, the verse section. Uh, that was the first verse and the second verse will be exactly the same as that, so um, there won't be any repetition on that. <laughs> 